And now, live from the studios of Freedoms Phoenix, Ernest Hancock. with me, Ernest Hancock here in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona from the studios of Freedoms of the Nest, freedomsphoenix.com, where the revolution between the ears is already matured. And, you know, what do I mean by that? I mean, if you're just going to go out and be, you know, confrontational, I, uh, what, are you, what are you accomplishing? You know, we just want to make sure that everybody is able to express themselves, to make sure that we're doing it peacefully. Because if you're not, nobody's listening to you anyway. So, you know, we, we know a lot of times when we have big things like this where the government's interests are represented by, you know, something happening, a lot of times something happens. We just want to make sure that we're not. So in addition to us being there and being peaceful and communicating with the officers, you know, we're a lot of eyes and ears for what might be going on that we wouldn't approve of anyway. So that's one thing that we want to make sure that we do is that we're there saying, look, uh, we think this guy might be a threat. You know, are we going to be listened to? Are we going to be the ones, or are they part of their, you know, agent provocateur? You think that might happen anywhere in these United States over any time over the holidays? You think that might? Maybe. Let's hope not. So we need to be on guard also. And I, I think that the Phoenix police, from the experience with us, they know that we're sincere in our wishes to be molested and to be left alone. We talked to him and said, no, we're, we're not going to be doing this permit thing because this is what happens. We had some activists call and they said, all right, yeah, we need you to have a permit. We need the name and address of the people doing the protest. We need the name and address of every single person that's going to be associated with that protest. And if you have one person more or one person less that's on the permit, your permit's null and void. And that was a good lesson for the young people. You know, we were just saying, look, you see how this is going? And are you going to take responsibility for everyone else? Now, the, the free speech zone is called United States of America. So we're going to go ahead and take that and, and we'll see. You know, and talking to them, it, it got to be it's so big that we made it clear, look, there's going to be people there passing out things. And they're not going to be operating under any kind of government permit. They know. And they're going to just, yeah, hey. We're not going to be hammering on people for ID. If they're not bothering anybody, we're just going to back off. We're going to let people dissent. It's all good. Kudos to the Phoenix law enforcement. And hopefully we can transition them into being peace officers. That's our goal. And that's what we're doing. So we were talking to the people. I was talking to James Babb from WeWon'tFly.com this morning. And he's saying, man, he is back-to-back interviews. He's on all the cable news. He's on the uh, CBS, NBC, and ABC affiliates all around uh, Philadelphia where he's from. And they're just sending it, broadcasting it live all over the place. So as we are developing what we're going to be doing, just some of the, this is just one of the ideas. A lot of people doing their own thing. We're not responsible for everybody. So what we're doing is making sure that we just have something as a representation that's peaceful. And in fact, it was a gentleman that was one of the uh, presenters at the Campaign for Liberty at Arizona State University Saturday that sparked this idea about you really should be in these opt-outs that uh, have the blue gloves with you so that you can give them to the officer. Because I've been in line. I've seen, you know, they're wiping their face and their nose and, and going around touching people. And then they go to the next person. They don't change the gloves. So they're going to be spreading all kinds of contagion. So I go, you know, that's a good idea. As an opt out kit, part of the TSA, the Transportation Safety Assessor is, we will make sure they have a fresh pair of gloves. A nice service. And then, of course, the employees, you know, they're happy to have a job in this economy, I'm sure. And, you know, not all of them are bad guys. So you want to make sure that they know that they're not going to be able, if there's some kind of radiation problems accumulative over years, every day standing there around that machine and they have a problem, they're not going to be able to sue. And they're not going to be issued any kind of radioactive uh, uh, radiation dosimeter to have any kind of a cumulative effect. We have people that work in, you know, they wear lead. They're behind lead uh, windows. They're in uh, radiation rooms for the hospitals and so on. I have friends that work out Palo Verde uh, nuclear plant. They're, they're Everyone that's even around anything with radiation have dosimeters. But 
if you're the TSA and you're an employee, um, they're not helping you out there. So we want to make sure that this is known and that they are never held to any kind of a standard or liable for any damage that they do. Well, right there, you know that, you know, you got concern. So we want to just provide, plus we may have some other information in there, a DVD of something. You know, all these guys, get they got what they want to do, and we have the facility here. We can make three to 500 DVDs an hour, and we got a whole bunch of blank DVDs. So we're going to be including them in there, and then we'll be printing out a lot of, you know, cute little uh, stickers that'll go on or something. Yeah, you want to see uh, Europe? Want to see France? Not until we get in your underpants, so we'll keep it light and we'll keep it fun. But I want to make sure that everyone keeps an eye out, get quick on your smartphone, and just be friendly. And, you know, because I tell you, we got video on freedomsphoenix.com today. There was a a smartphone video that we had of a gentleman at O'Hare. And you had the line coming out from the security lines, going out both sides of the concourse there. And it was as far as the eye can see in two directions of people waiting in security line. I guarantee you a lot of people missed their flights. And they are going, the TSA, they're going to blame it on us. You're the ones. We won't fly.com. Opting out. Exercising your rights. You're the ones that people, the reason why people miss their flights and so on. No, it's not. If you think that's it, go earlier. Take some time. Because all we're doing is if you choose to opt out, we want you to do so safely. And for the employees, we want to make sure that they know that there are some health risks to them and that they should know. Here at Arizona State University, one of the professors is going, oh, they're talking down this radiation exposure. It's a lot worse than they think. And a lot of other reports we have that, I mean, I could... Tell you, but we haven't confirmed them yet. We want to get some documentation of some crazy weird stuff. I mean, as crazy as you think it is, it just keeps getting worse every day. So as we confirm those reports and we get some of the video, we'll put them up and make sure that you know. So this is something that we're we're wanting to share with everyone and everybody enjoy themselves. And we're not going to be you know pushing you know our stuff like freedomsphoenix.com or the freedom summary that in the packets. We're going to put we won't fly.com. That's what I was telling James Babb about. Out. We're going, look, man, this whole thing, it, it's all you, man. Go talk to James because <laughs> he does a good job, and, and we're busy with a lot of other stuff, and he's really the front guy on this, and I know James. He's very good. He's very creative in making sure that the real issues get discussed on the cable, and he won't back down, and I and that's the one thing they're going to be going, but aren't you afeard? What if I'm not? What if my biggest fear is the government? What if I am, if we look, I remember there was a scene from um, Under Siege, The Siege. It was with Denzel Washington and Bruce Willis and Annette Bening. And and there was a, a great scene in there to where he's talking about they were torturing someone. He's an FBI agent. And uh, the Army was torturing this guy. And he goes, look, you know, what if what they really want is what we're doing right now? What if they could demonstrate that we're no longer a free society, that we're afraid, that we're scared, that we're cowering? Do you think the Patriot Act and the TSA and all this stuff was really to protect the American people from the terrorists? No, it was to protect the establishment, the government, this regime from us. We just want to be left alone. And if they're going to keep having a foreign policy that creates an environment to where not only are those that choose not to opt in, that we don't have the ability to just go fly in another airline that doesn't have to go through this, that an airline isn't allowed to just go into another airport and say, hey, guess what? You know, in our little shuttles, not a problem. You can get on flying die airlines. You know, and we'll issue you your nine millimeters so you feel safer if you forgot yours. If we don't have that type of freedom options, Are we in a free society? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about for the rest of this week. We got some great guests. Matter of fact, tomorrow we have uh, on as our guest. Let me go and put this out. John Buttrick, Judge Buttrick, sitting judge here in Phoenix, Arizona, Maricopa County. John Buttrick will be on the show in studio tomorrow. Hello, my good friend and partner in the Freedom Summit, criminal defense attorney, Mark J. Victor. You think we might be talking about this? Oh, yeah, baby. You know we are. We'll be right back here on Declare Your Independence in just a little bit.